Um, it started out as a recording project, um, just something to write something heavy again. Kind of lost my flavor for heavy music for a while and was going back to playing blues and just back to playing drums and uh, some lighter stuff. But I missed the aggression and just seeing so many things around me that frustrated me. I needed another outlet to come back to and play heavier music again. Um, and then I hit a point of depression so then I started listening to heavier music again and wanted to put something out that I know really drove some points home. So And stuff that was close to me. So The recording project became into more than just one song. Uh, and then I got picked up from my buddy Taylor at Under City Records and I knew exactly who to go to when he said I needed to get a better quality recording and that was my buddy Jay. So after being an infinite for over a decade together uh, it's good to be back hanging out and uh, making some music together again. So. <laughs> hear that back like sure. everything we have so far or you just um it doesn't really matter all right. i just want to make sure like you have all your timings right because you right. don't want to fucking get home and be like I'm oh sure you gotta I... try to put in another fucking measure right. Right. <laughs> and no, you're like, oh, be that fuck. Bad. no i because i uh, fucked up a biblical kind of style verse uh and that's just that it has to do with bettering yourself and bettering other people um you know iron sharpens iron so uh you know, be the person that you wish to be, um, that, that's going to make an effect on other people and those around you. So, you know, you want to be the best person you can possibly be so that you can leave that impact on other people and then help them be the best person they can possibly be. And then the X is just from the straight edge factor. I've been doing it for 17, 18 years now. Uh, and I do it for myself, not for, uh, any other reasons. So that's, still always a message I like to push um, and then at least not you know not necessarily push but it's something I like to be able to display and talk to other people about and encourage other people that they don't have to get you know all fucked up and party and shit all the time just because they're younger and they see that shit around they can they can have fun just naturally and hang out with friends and not have to get high all the, all the time especially with all the heroin epidemics and stuff we have going around in Muskegon right now we definitely we came through and did click tracks for uh, three or four of the songs. Um, we ended up doing redoing a few clicks later on that we decided I decided to change, um, and then I wanted to do a minor threat cover on there because they're a big inspiration for, for me. It was awesome getting in and getting click tracks. Anybody that says that they don't use click tracks when they record, and I think that they should change their mind awfully quick because it made this process flow easy. I mean we did the click tracks all in one day pretty much set the drums up other than having issues with the triggering issues which we ended up not using those and decided the mic to kick which made it a million times better um and then um other than that we recorded and nailed the drums pretty much in one day um mci edp studios we're here today on march 5th i believe it is yes. something like that march yes. 5th that's what my um, says here with Larry Passanier, and we're starting drum tracking today for Iron Sharpens Iron. So, uh, what do you got to say about that, bro? Was, you know, stoked to be working with my buddy again, and uh, stoked to be putting out something new. Definitely a different sound. Um, not the same old hardcore kind of stuff. A lot of black metal influences with some just pissed off sounding vocals. So. Oh yeah. Taking a picture of my extra wide penis. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'd use that wide frame, you know? I'd be like, man. I'd do that. Yeah, widescreen 60 by 20. Get that, it's like, it's so tall. Get that film look. <laughs> Uh, all the guitars.
floors done in one day, base done in one day. Um, really, within two days, we recorded pretty much the entire EP, other than a few little uh, edits that we did and one other day of fixing some vocals. Everything else, everything was done in pretty much three days total. So, we're here tracking Iron Sharpens Iron, day two, guitars. Larry just finished up some drums, you guys seen that. Um, and we kind of got a little guitar tone we like. We're going to dial in some more shit, but you guys are going to see a little footage of this. And we're going to start with uh song Among Shadows. So, what's up with you, man? Feeling good today? Feeling awesome. Practiced up, ready to get this record knocked out. Nice. Uh, drums came out awesome. I think you guys are going to like this record. And uh, yeah, so check it out. <laughs> Chords at the end. Yep. Let's do um. No, 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 Bing, bong, bong, bong. Single notes on that. So the. Bing. Yeah, just clean it up because the. You gotta go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's just try that riff, and then if we get mostly through this line, okay. and then if we gotta switch that, because that's the end right there, right? Yep. I think this is your longest one. Too. It is. Yeah. They do one whole one regular and, and then, then do the whole second. half okay. uh, the harmony, you know what I mean? Yep. I got you. Let's listen to this one. You smoke right there. Yeah. I like the stops on that, but I almost feel like the second one you should just come in with a yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like the first one do the stops and then the second here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause like you gotta think, you know, just say you were playing that live, you you would probably be doing that. You wouldn't stop. Yeah. 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 One more time. Oh shit! New lights. Yeah, if you want to just do that part, I think that's it. Yeah, hold that out and then, you know what I mean? Just kind of try to fade it out, maybe. Yeah, like, yeah, I mean, hold that out and just basically, like, come in where you would come in. I I'll try to count it off for you. You know what I'm yep. saying? Like, I am going to pull this back a little bit. Okay. But I think that'll make it sound smoother instead of having one guitar stop because it kind of sounds weird. <laughs> Can I make a suggestion on that? Play, instead of holding that out, just play that. Yeah, just, yeah, just play it at the end. With, so. I like how you did the, uh, you, at the beginning of the song too, instead of going with that fast doubles, you did them slow doubles, it just sounds way tighter. Yeah. You keep playing that while you break it down, but I guess 
I do. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie! <laughs> We really nailed it out and practiced to it a lot and uh, played to the click tracks and scratch tracks a lot. And it, between Jay knowing what he's doing and knowing how I work and then just knowing how to produce and help me make the best project I can and then me practicing to the clicks and being prepared, we nailed this thing out fast. I mean, it was the fastest process I've ever had recording with anybody or with any project. Bass. Slap of the bass, man. Slap of the bass. Oh, yeah. Satan. <laughs> <laughs> For me, play the first note. So, doom, 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 It's your transfer note. Well. Back a little bit further. What's up, bro? I fucked up the beginning of the the song, but can we roll from the beginning, but still keep that part keep that right there? Part. Yeah, cause I like okay. that. So, can we can we add a little doubly dub underneath of that at the beginning yeah. of it? Cause under eyes, I'm gonna say eyes and a high, but then hold it out a little bit longer. Can you can keep the first two sentences. Let's 
right there. Right here. Yep, and then everything after that I want to redo. Except that. Yeah, keep that part and see for right now. This. Keep that. Yep, keep that, the first part and just drag that back to where it's in that big empty section. Right. I want to see what it sounds like if I don't do anything over that part, because that black metal part is kind of... A day so bittersweet, he'll bring you to your knees! I think you should dub that with like a low. I will do my best. <laughs> I'm making I, some poison. Like me. Shallow. Breath breaking. No. You can't resist. Death is on its way! This is going to be the first thing that we push out that's going to have the quality behind it, what I want. Um, so we're going to push, put out this EP, it's going to be called The Tragedy of Mankind. And it just touches base on all the different issues that humanity is plagued with. Um, whether it be uh, drug abuse, um, especially Muskegon with heroin, um, or just the United States in general. Um, the, our political system and how it just pushes people against one another. And then... Uh, uh, attempted suicide and suffering from depression um, all those different things are really big things on this album um, so after we're done with this I go to Taylor in uh, Indiana uh, next at the beginning of next month and we shoot a music video for one of the songs and then we're gonna really push this EP and then uh, I might enter the recording studio again maybe towards the end of next year or, and then put out maybe a full length uh, I'm not sure maybe just keep doing EPs but Definitely want to keep pushing the word out there and creating music and just spreading a good message and helping, you know, further the straight edge message and uh, let people know they're not alone in their struggles too. So just keep on making music with friends and pushing it out there and uh, just we'll see what the future brings. Uh, and you can look us up on uh, Facebook and Instagram at uh, Iron Sharpens Iron MI. Um, both Instagram and Facebook both have the same URLs as far as the tag goes. And then you can find us on uh, xironsharpensironx.bandcamp.com, um, undercityrecords.com, and undercityrecords.bandcamp.com. And then we're on Spotify and all the streaming services. You look, up, look us up and we're on all of them. So.